So, late ill kid at one yo so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd. So, what is up, my people, today? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up with this TV show? Um, beast vibes, beast vibes, beast vibes, and life. Beast vibes, and beast vibes, and beast vibes, and life. Uh. So, this is a show where I bring an album, he brings an album, we hash it out, have a good time. Now, to my left, and before, you know what? Last week we just passed fifty episodes. 50 last episodes, week, really? Yes, last Wait, week. We you, are we gonna start numbering them now? Like this is the the fifty one, fifty first. Well, episode? I mean, I just number them in the background when I'm like. Okay. You, you should put the number next to. You should start putting number next to everything. So like, number. Cause I'm a good. All my numbers. <laughs> my numbering system. So with that said, before I toss it to the left, I'm gonna say that not only is this an esteemed colleague, uh, a beat producer extraordinaire, but I'd like to say. Thank you for not only being a beat uh, producer, beat production <laughs> extraordinaire, yeah, beat producer. Uh, uh, <laughs> not that. only being an amazing co-host, but also being. Uh, look, I met this guy way, way back in 1991 when they had no, a black, <laughs> red and black lumberjack with the oh, hat. Oh yeah, to with match. the hat to match. <laughs> yeah. Ever since then, this guy's been cool. He's been awesome. He's been he's been a friend. A, a, a confidant, if you will, at times. And he's always been open. You know what I'm saying? Being cool to do the show. All kinds of stuff. I want to say thank you, Architron, for being on the show. But holding it down with me. Uh, hold on. All right. Holding it down with me. Being cool. You know what I'm saying? Being being on the show. Doing beats and stuff. Working, collaborate. You've been, you, you've been incredible. An amazing... Uh, an amazing town. Am I going to die tomorrow, man? I'm just, Are you trying to give me the flash? Like yeah, why you here? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you got it, death wish or something, so, man. I'm about to, to be gone tomorrow. Architrum. At least I can say, yo, I was happy that one day when Michael like, shouted me out and like told me you know, he appreciated me and everything. You're like, yeah. I, I, I appreciate it. Tomorrow you. dead. Like, all right. <laughs> This, this this show has been recorded at least. No, man, you're not going to die tomorrow. You're going to die like when you, I don't know, like 98 well, or something. We don't know anything about that, sir. Well, so. I mean. We would like that to happen. Well, yeah. That's well, what we like, hope for. Hope. Some people hope for less. Well, yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I'd hope that you would be a long, full, fruition life or whatever. Whatever, you know. A, a full, full, of, full of fruit? Yes. And vegetables? And, yes. And, and I don't know. And I don't know. Seafood and stuff. I don't know. Whatever you want. Axel. Yes. There you go. Okay. I don't know. Good, good, amazing food. All right. But to my left, Architron. It's me, Architron, <laughs> <laughs> in the place to be. Uh, you can find me at A R C K A T R O N dot com. And uh, to my right, I have the esteemed colleague, the in- interview extraordinaire, the hardest working man in showbiz. You know what I mean? Since James Brown. Yes. <laughs> Can't take it away from Since James, James Brown. Brown. This is the yes. hardest working man in show biz. Since James Brown. A million views per day. A million, million videos per day. Hoping for a million views per day. Yes. Um, nerd soul in the place to be on the M-I-C on his neck right there. Yeah. N-E-R-D-S-U-L. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio Podcast, TikTok. Holla at your boy. Now, we got... That out the way, I got a couple, a couple, you know, uh, I guess you could say announcements, if you will. Before the announcements, we got some, <laughs> we got a sponsor today. Uh, big shout out to the radio station that is, has uh, just came on as a sponsor of our many sponsors. Uh, big shout out to W Balls, W B A L L S. Amazing, uh, just they play the hits. You know, they play the hits. If you if you know about West Coast hip hop, 
way back in the early 90s. They held you down. Early to mid 90s, W Balls, amazing. Thank you for su uh, supporting us, supporting Nerd Zone. Now, that's out of the way. Uh, big shout out to my Patreon supporters, uh, Thought Crimes, Thought Crimes with a Z. You should check out their show. They cover hip hop, sports, politics, rap, all that good stuff. They're dope. Big shout out to Enrique Carrion, awesome, awesome comic book writer. Check out Phenomic online for free. You should read it. And Tim I, big shout out to you as well for helping build Nerd Soul. So, we got some albums today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, also, I will be at, uh, long, uh, not long, sorry, LA Comic Con this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. So check me out if you're in LA, if you're at LA Comic Con, you want to see your boy, want to holler at me, holler at me, I'm always down. You can, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, bam, I'm going to be there. Holla at your boy, because I love to see you, meet y'all, we can get on the show, talk about some X-Men or whatever, it's all to the good. Lastly, lounging returns on Sunday. So yes, we will be getting into some some politics, some Twitter, some, some all that good stuff. You want to call in guests or whatever? Yeah, we might be able to get call first episode. Yeah, no, we'll be you, back. You got to get the rhythm we've first. Been, we've been gone for a long time. So we'll be coming back. Uh, the show uh, is a little bit different this time when we come back, but Lounging will be back this Sunday, 10 a.m. PST. Check us out. So, with that said, it's all out of the way. Anything else? You sure? We got Exhibit. Okay. And we got Corrupt. Okay. What album do you want to do first? No, it's you going first this time. Okay. I went first last time. So Let's whatever do... you choose the album and you go first. When you choose, when you go first, you choose whatever album you want to do first. Ah, there it is. Let's do okay. let's do exhibit first. Getting some rules after fifty episodes. <laughs> Finally, let's do exhibit first. Okay. All right. Um, and you want me to go first with the you are, whoever's going okay. first? You are going first. Okay. So ah, okay, I okay, chose okay. exhibit because we were talking offline, and I remember I think I think I mentioned the song Foundation or something like that. Possibly. I can't remember what I, I think I mentioned the song Foundation. I was like, oh, I haven't heard this album in a long time. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I, I get at the speed of life, turn it on, and immediately this album is, this album is a great time capsule for just West Coast hip hop, at least for his kind of peer group at that time. In 96. Yeah, in 96. Uh, it also gets into your weird time in hip hop, too. Yeah, I lo I, when I was listening to it, I was like, this is the weird time. It's not, it's not as bad, though, as the albums that came out in 96. No, no, no. But it's, it is that weird, there is that weird time stuff to it. Yeah. Um, and the good things that I like about this is that it's a great time capsule. Um, it's good to hear King T randomly. I was like, King T, wow. When's, when's the last time you heard King T? You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Raskas is on there. Um, we got old girl from uh, that. Um, I can't remember her name, but she was on the Pub Daddy joint too. Oh, um, Hurricane G. Hurricane G. Uh, and we got Dre on there. We got uh, and, and Daz. Yeah, no, we got Daz. Oh, no, on sorry, there. we're talking about so, no, no, no. You said Dr so, Dre. Sorry, Dre's on not, there. Uh, not Dre. No, hold on. Is Dre? I want to say no. Sorry, this is the wrong album. Sorry, excuse me. I'm like, what? So, Dre's on there? I'm like, what? So, with this, what I like is the time capsule. Also, hearing the voices of people that I haven't heard in a while. Uh, also, having Razzcast, at which I think is one of his, uh, I guess, prime times. Because uh, I do want to do Solo on Ice at one point in time as well. Because um, it's been so long since I heard it, and it's been um, so long since I haven't heard it. Oh. Because I haven't heard it. Uh, so Never having heard. those three, you know, Golden State on there was good for me. Um, I think Exhibit has always exhibited <laughs> uh, adept talent at rapping. Homie Skill is definitely on point. Um, and he shines on a lot of tracks in this. And I think I'll leave it right there for now. And throw it to you. What were your... How did you feel kind of listening to this journey? Um, So the order I listened to today was I listened to Corrupt's album first. Cause oh, I okay. felt that Exhibit would be a, a good... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, palette, uh, cleanser. palette cleanser, yeah. Should have did it in any other order, actually. I thought it would be the other way. I liked Exhibit's album. 
very um, West Coast dusty. Yeah. Um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an okay, in an okay way, not like yo, it's, just, it's cool. I like the foundation. I like the songs. I remember. I, Eyes and Shot. I forgot the, the, the original version. Yeah, just yeah, like Eyes the Cross, Ray, just like the Crossroads original version, which I don't remember. I remember the, the remix with actual Mob Deep on the song yeah. more than the actual original version, which is the actual single. I'm like, this is super weird. So, um, <laughs> and then what Paparazzi is also on there, which is yeah. a, was what was an also popular song that I remember. That's the one that had that was on. That was the one he had the video for, right? He had paparazzi, and I think found. That's the one I'm saying. The paparazzi one. Paparazzi was, was, was on the, the video. Wings yeah. on the beach, right? Yeah. With the, with the orchestra. Yeah. Or like the main extra orchestra. large. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. So yeah, I, I liked it. I liked it. Um, I don't. I don't think I've ever listened to the album though. I don't think I've ever yeah. listened to. The, I know the song of it, but I don't actually haven't listened. Me to neither. The album in its entirety. Uh, either one, actually, I've never listened to. The, the crap and then I heard either. a couple of verses that he kicked on the Wake Up Show. Oh yeah. Like, that, way way back. Yeah, you would know that more than me because I, yeah. I never listened to one second of the Wake Up Show. Yeah. The, most, the, the close huge I, fan. the close I got to the Wake Up Show was the song that they did with Eminem and Thamon oh yeah, and Jail yeah. Felony and. And uh, wow. Shino XL and KRS One. Wow, and, that is Tech one of those Nine and like Eminem forgotten and, random like collab albums. Huh? Wow, that's like one of those forgotten like random collab albums. Oh, their album itself? Yeah. See, the, I like, only knew it because the song, the part of the song is on RZA's Bobby Digital album. Yeah. So I know RZA's part way well more than the actual full dang, song. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah. <laughs> Thing. Yeah, he's doing the, 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 the he's doing the Bobby Bobby. You know Bobby. that was right? What? That he was just doing the um Darth Vader. Oh. He's just doing uh, the Darth Vader. See, I, see, there was more complexity to Bobby Digital. He was, he, you, he was, was it giving. was Bobby Digital and John Williams. Yo, you know what? That would be an interesting mix oh, if what? they got together and just made some music. John Williams and Rizzo. If we can, get, if we can find Rizza, then yes. If he if he can unearth himself and be Rizza again, then yeah, because he's gonna be collabing with Robert. <laughs> it's gonna be Robert and John. You know, that's what the album should be called. <laughs> Back to exhibit. Uh, some things that rub me the wrong way. Rubbed you the wrong way, really? <laughs> what rubbed you the wrong way about the album? It's, it's John a, Blazing. It's a good time capsule. You, you keep saying time capsule. But it we, we feels need... time capsule in a bad way. Okay. Um, it's not like listening to, say, like Buster's first album, and you're like, oh, snap. Yo, man, this joke is killing it. In this one, you're listening to it, and it just sounds very old, underground West Coast. Yeah. And it has that feel to it in a bad way sometimes. I um, gotcha. I don't and, th- I don't think many people are... I, mean, I don't know. I, I can't say it speak on a lot of people, but I don't think people are... Coming back to this album that often? Nah, nah. So that's why I feel the time capsule was like. I think most people memorable. are coming back to Forty Days, Forty Nights. Yeah. So, guys. um, to continue on to what I was saying about the time capsule, it's in a bad way. It, like you said, dusty kind of. It just has that feel like. It just it just sounds old, and in a bad way sometimes. Yeah. Um. Also, then you have this weird ninety six. Musical changes. You got, you got exhibit who's kind of like hitting you with the rough rhymes. Yeah. Then you got exhibit that goes into his life, which I, which I do uh, enjoy, kind of hearing about his upbringing and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. But then you have this weird kind of like pimp, kind of player music. There's like what? It feels like it takes a weird turn. Oh, that's like towards the end, right? Yeah. And it's like, why is that? And it's like, why is Exhibit trying to be a player? He can't be a player? Well, I mean, I guess he can be a player. With those those rules that said that this guy rapping like this can't be a player? Yeah, it it just doesn't seem to have a flow. It seems like that song was stuck in because it was 96 and because you had to have a single... You know, kind of thing. No, but the but, singles, but none of the singles were none that weren't that. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is, like, you had to have kind of like that song for the ladies. I guess you know what I'm saying. Is that for the ladies to say you're a pimp? I don't know. You know, like you know, like some women like that. So it just seemed like that song was there for some weird reason, 
And I didn't really like it. It was just weird to me. Um, did it come off weird to you or no? I you just, were just like, whatever. Yeah, it didn't. It just, the, it's just, 96 is a weird year for a lot of things. Yeah. And music is one of them. Because. I didn't particularly mind it, but yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, what other, like, but, oh no, that's 97. I always think that Capone already came out in 96, it's 97. Yeah, it's 97. I always think it's 96. But it doesn't sound like 96, it sounds like 97, if you think about it. Yeah. But it's like the last, it's like almost the last, like, kind of album that didn't go there in 97. True. It's like the last, out, like the last like, hip-hop classic, other than Wu-Tang Forever. Because Wu-Tang oh. Forever, even the sound of Wu-Tang Forever is not what Capone already is. So I'm feeling okay. like 96 was a, was a transitional year. We're like Tribe sounded different. Okay. Um, right, Daylight sounded different. Okay. Busta Rhyme just came out. 96 is his first album. So it was. It, so even his album is in a weird space too. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, because like the first album is if you listen to Busta Rhyme's first album, it's very. Um, It's kind of stuck. It's a little stuck in the in because Wu Ha is a single, but Wu Ha yeah. doesn't sound like anything in '96 really like that. So it kind of True. stands out in a good way. But I feel that like '96 is a weird year for music. A lot of albums, <laughs> sound, a weird year for hip hop music. Okay, okay. Because a lot of labels were becoming uh, public, and it just this really really became truly about the money. Like it truly became about the money. If you didn't. Um, if you weren't selling, you were gone. And that became then it started. Then then it almost became the, the industry became where like, all right, we gotta find what sells. All right, sex sells, cool. All right, yeah. violent sells, cool. We'll just go on. We'll just go on those things, whatever. And yeah. You have it. And I think that's what happened because then you see in the next three four years from 97, 98, 99, 2000 till to, up until two thousand, you start seeing it become glossier and talking about money becomes way more of a thing. Definitely, definitely way more of a thing to talk about money way more of a thing and status and like uh, the eliteness of, of things <laughs> the eliteness uh, the, yeah the, 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 the fictitious eliteness of things yeah definitely like things are way are worth, it's, it's are very worth more it's very yeah, we, yeah we're, things are worth more because it's it's someone made it that because it's that you can't pronounce yeah. shit I mean to stuff whatever we don't IG we don't IG we don't care yeah, IG, we don't IG we don't care about curses it's stuff. real son it's real this is the real deal right it's now really real we, we real dealing to to nobody in chat but whatever we just real dealing it right now super speaking of real deal I watched the Holyfield thing the Holyfield yeah. thing oh broken. we got Oh, we got we got oh, V Love, V Love, yeah, V Love, what, you, up, what up, what up, you're our first customer of the night. Ah, what's going on, V Love? So yeah, I. What's happening? I, this one is one of those albums that nothing really turned me off to it, but nothing ever really turned grabbed you, me, grabbed you like that, yeah, or or turned me on to it like, oh, oh snap, you know, like yeah, nothing it really just was there, it just was there. Yeah, uh, you got paparazzi. Yeah, um, you got foundation. I had though. Yeah, I, I heard when I heard, it, I was um, like, oh, okay. It kind of took me back, but I don't remember. See, yeah. I heard these albums in like ninety eight, ninety nine. Okay. Because my brother didn't get it yet. He okay. got the he got the single. The, I'm th- not the album, but I heard the songs, the yeah. Eyes May Shine, stuff like that, like ninety seven, ninety eight. Okay. From my memory, when he got the actual CD. Okay. Is that CD single time? You know what I mean. All right. Yeah. It just. But, and I'm gonna score it first if we're done. If we're okay. Done talking yeah. About it. All right. We're done. Because you, I know, score. I know, I know, you already thinking about it. what's the score. Stop thinking about that. I'm so not, I'm not. I'm not. I already know my score for this. Um, my score is a, <laughs> a, a nine. A nine point two. No, I'm asking. No, I'm asking. No, that's not my score. That's not my score. I don't know. <laughs> That's all that, is not, that is not my score. That, that's what you my score do. is a, um, I give it like a, like a solid, a solid six point five. How about that? That's exactly where I'm at. Six point five. Okay. That's exactly where I'm at. Okay. Solid six point five. The rhymes are on point in a yeah, lot he's of cases. Rapping, he's rapping. He's busting off them as fly scripts, as some people would say. <laughs> he's but busting it off. Not, it just ends up being there. Yeah. And 
they're kind of in a bad way, I think. It's just there. Yeah, it's just there. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, you got your turn your mic off just in case, so I can save that battery. Oh. You know, and save that battery life. Now, since we covered, you know, what I'm saying we covered exhibit, we got a little hip hop news. We have news. Yes, we we do. Uh, most notably, last night the BET Hip Hop Awards dropped. Yeah, <laughs> that was great, man. It was a good show. I, I, I watched every second of it, man. You I didn't could, watch I anything. Could, I, I did watch it today. I watched some stuff. <laughs> I watched. I watched the um, links you gave me. The biggest. Uh, the biggest thing is that um, uh, Lil Kim received the I Am Hip Hop Award. Yes, Lil Kim did. Lil Kim. Uh, I'm certain that that's Lil Kim. It doesn't look like Lil Kim, from my memory. It doesn't look like the Lil Kim that we remember. Of um, any era that I remember, Lil and Kim. We'll, from. And we'll <laughs> honestly never know why she changed her look so much. I think I'll say that. Yeah. Um, Strange. Because I miss the original Lil Kim. I'll say that. I would, I would even say I miss like the Bella Mafia little Kim still like that yeah. Kim was fine. It still looked like the Kim that we yeah, know. Yeah, it still looked she like had the OG some, She had some enhancement, but now yeah. it's like she's like robotic. Yeah, it's in a, in a very weird way. It's very strange. Oh, um, hold on, so we got. Uh, she loves saying some stuff. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, hip hop, they call it. Hmm, and he says she don't. Yeah. I guess she she don't look the same. I guess she's saying. Yeah, that. yeah, she don't. Um, so. The Rick Ross uh, presented the award. Oh, oh, also, also, what's up? Yep, like Michael Jackson, you're correct. What's up with the, them rapping over stuff with the, 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 the vocals in it? That's, I was going to get into that. Now the question, did weird. they really rap over like that? Or that's what we just heard, they put a voice dub uh, the oh, audio over Oh, if so live it wasn't like that before yeah, the show. I, I'm, that's I'm, I'm questioning it. I'm just questioning That's it. a good question. I don't know wh- how they did that. Because I, I heard the background sometimes, and it, you would hear the vocals in it still. So oh, okay. I think the audience heard it exactly what we heard. That's, I don't know why they did it like that. It's just, just the reason why I say it's weird is because when we hear it, we're hearing... Um, it's, an, oh, it's a live sound thing. Okay, so when we're hearing it... Yeah, like, we're hearing... When you're, at, when you're at the show, you're hearing it through speakers. Yes. So you hear it at the same time. But yes. hearing it through the mic and hearing it like the actual audio that they're hearing, yes. it just sounds weird. It's, it's almost like they're singing to their own song. Yeah, but they are. No, they, yeah, I mean, they, I no, mean, they, they are, are, but the way we hear it is like that. See, when you're at the show, it doesn't come off like that. Because no, no, it would come off at the show too. What I'm saying oh, it's the right. same. It just sounds weirder because the audio is cleaner. It's like the exact track, yeah. and then like okay, so then just like and then sometimes the, the vocals are lower than the actual tracks, so and you're just basically just hearing them perform like Soul Train. Yeah, yeah. Like why? And my thing is, why even have them even the vocal the mics on? Just have to do like Soul Train. True. Yeah. Because it sounds because um, for me being a sound, it doesn't sound good. That's why I never like really live performances. Less like if the audio is like at a pristine level. Yeah. And we got Al Gonsi in the building. What up, Al Gonsi? Al Gonsi, what up, what up, what up? Um, there is a big... Uh, I think the that Rick Ross presenting this was just weird. Because... You would rather be Lil C's or Puffy or... I would rather it be Puff, uh, Puff, C's, and maybe Fate uh, presenting her with this award. I don't know why... Similar to uh, um, uh, Missy getting her Vanguard Award, and I'm like, why is it Vanguard? Uh, uh, Cardi, Cardi B, and I'm like, why isn't Tim and uh, like genuine? Was Tim even there? I don't know, but I mean, they, this these are things that you should make happen. It, I mean, if you can, I know people have schedules. I understand that, but also the BET Hip Hop Awards has had this date since last year. So, I mean, you, like, it just seems weird for her to get the I Am Hip Hop Award and then for Rick Ross to present it. And I know that it's done by committee and corporate because they're like, Rick Ross is hot now and it's made by music. But it just doesn't make sense for her legacy, which is the reason she's getting the award. It would have been so, cool. It would have been cool if, like, Nikki presented her with the award. <laughs> 
squash uh, the beef, you know, squash the beef, you know, oh, say some that, nice words about her. That, that would have be, been nice. That beef is always going to be there. and I. It, or if it would have even been nice, even if Cardi presented her thing. Yeah. But she would have had a, but Rick Ross looked like he was having a hard time reading, though. Yo, Rick, he was yo. like, he was like, yo, I will. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, the, she was a queen, and a queen, she was a queen. Queen, she a boss. <laughs> She's, uh, and she a boss. He, he was like, uh, era, era, uh, uh, yeah, he was looking hard, boy, that teleprompter, boy. He was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like the most I've seen Rick Ross, like, pay attention and focus in my life. It shouldn't. He was like, <laughs> uh, he had glasses on too. I bet you they had prescription in it too. He was like, yo, yeah, the shades on. We still had prescription on. He's like, yo, oh man, I make sure I get everything. Yeah, yo, what did I say? No. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> um, so anyway, she, she gets the award and she had a gracious, uh, a gracious uh, statement, but then she had a performance. Last night as well. Was the performance before or after? I guess it was before. I think I don't know. I can't. I don't know how because I just watched the links. Yeah. So I don't know. But I'll say this for the uh, the performance. Wow. You loved it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel the same way, man. It was a great performance. You knew at least for some time that you were going to be getting an award. And that you would be doing like a medley performance. Yeah, she did the medley. What and, happened? The medley was great. The problem is. There's a problem? It's Kim, man. The problem with there's this no, medley. There's no Kim problem. Is that we just saw. It's Kim Missy, possible. We just saw Missy do her medley. Yeah. And Missy's medley was magnifique. You can't compare the two. They're two different artists. Yeah, but Lil' Kim two. just looked stiff. She looked like she ain't know the words to her own songs. That's been her for like she last... was running out of breath. That's been her for the last ten years. You have not seen the Middle Kim performance in the last ten years. I know that has been her for the I but know. she was receiving an I am hip hop award. This is a huge deal. You gotta step is, your game up. This is, is a it? one this is one night this is a one night affair where you're being exalted and, and respected and giving your flowers for being a trendsetter, which she is. It would be nice to have a performance <laughs> where she didn't look like Tridash. Artist name uh, Lennon <laughs> just said, What? They stopped the teleprompter for the boss to catch up. <laughs> you are correct. Yo, man. They had, Rick to, put Ross the is they had to put that thing on slow mode. Yo. They had like, <laughs> a, a slow crawl. Like. Yo. <laughs> They probably had an air was like, Ross, you got this? Do you get it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I got no, it. No, it, it, it's not like they had somebody feeding Ross the words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Rick Ross is a non-reading. Yo, straight up, look. He's been out just freestyling it. Like, all right, like, yo, with, Cam, you a without, boss. Without clowning, girl. literacy is a, is, a, is a real important issue in our country, all right? They look. We need to fund schools more. Yes, give me the. I'll so, give you the one, the single. <laughs> <laughs> I give you, you the just, single. People, school is important. Education is key. Reading and literacy is important for the duration of our lives. The fact that a grown man is struggling to read on air, in public, in front of millions that are probably watching this show is an issue, a real issue, please, please give to the United Negro College Fund. <laughs> <laughs> All that you can spare. Every little bit counts. So, uh, V-Love said uh, that uh, um, that uh, a little a little Kim fell off badly. Hate to say it. Uh, you got it right. Uh, you got to rock that ish. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, man, and I mean she got hits, like she got some dope stuff, but it's like she was just she was just trying too hard to keep up, and she looked bad. <laughs> she looked bad when she accepted that award. She looked bad standing up on top of that stage. She I thought she was gonna fall when she bad. was walking on the steps, and I was like, "Don't fall, Kim. Just don't fall." 
I was glad the dude came in and I like, had a girl out of the hand by the last three steps. Like, yeah, come on, man. She grabbed, he grabbed her hand like she was Cicely Tyson. Yeah, well, <laughs> she, I mean, she looked like she was having some struggle down the steps, man. Whoo. That, right, so, that big old fake booty. Oh, man. So that that's my issue with uh, with Lil' Kim and and her performance on the BET Awards. How, how you, Are there any things that stand out to you? It, so it never happened. If they knew she could perform, like, don't perform. Just, just... We just give you the awards. You should. Just give you the awards. She, she now. The other people do her performance. What happened to that? Yeah, because you could do something where people, or you could show like a like a video medley, you know, of her stuff. Get other people. Have, have someone I, I get other people, together. Get other people to rap her songs. That's it. Yes. What happened to that? Because we, we don't we don't want you to perform. We, we, yeah. You know, we want to honor you and just like you know, just remember. We want to remember you how you were. Exactly. Because it was bad. So um, going on to other performances. Uh, I watched the baby and little baby. Okay. Um, I, matter of fact, I'll turn. I've done a lot of talking. How how did you feel about the performances you saw? How do you feel about the show in general? I don't like the show. I okay. never. I like. I like the idea of the show. Okay. Like the, the initial idea of what the BET Awards and BET Hip Hop Awards, whatever yeah. award show they have. Yeah. I like the idea because it's it's a place where you're where you actually celebrate it and not just tolerate it. Because the, the Grammys, the Oscars, it's more toleration. It, yes. We, we had to kind of clamor for just to even get a, a spot to be in, even, even recognized, even nominated. You know what I'm saying? True. So I feel BT Awards, the idea of it is a great idea. It's just that the execution is always kind of sub. It just shows that the level of execution is not up to par. Great. And I'm glad you said that because I've been feeling a certain way about the Hip Hop Awards for a while. And I wanted to throw this to you and to the chat. We got V-Love in here. We got I'll Go See in here. You have an artist uh, named uh, Lennon. Artist Lennon. named Lennon up in here. Yeah, uh, Lennon. Lennon. The BET Hip Hop Awards could be a great opportunity for us to adore and respect and revere ourselves in what we've done in creating hip hop that now affects and kind of permeates through all cultures around the world. Um, I think that we are doing, and when I say we, I mean BET, BET and the culture that kind of like feeds into BET yeah. is doing a bad job of showing the fullness of hip hop. And when I say that, I mean the music that we saw for the most part was very homogenous last night. Um, uh, most of the music was very similar. There's two standouts. You had uh, Anderson Pack and um. Uh, you gave me that. You gave me that one. I don't know. Yeah, that was, yeah. I what gave you that one. With? Uh, was it YBN? Uh, the uh, before, okay. um, and then uh, you have uh, Rhapsody. Um, you, you, you gave me that too. Yeah. You um, gave me too many links, man. You should have gave me just those links. Don't get the, the baby and all. That you stuff, had man? to have full context. I don't need no. Context. Uh, and you also had Chance the Rapper. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going to watch that. But you have a very... <laughs> but I watched all the links. Um, and you also had the cypher stuff. But I feel that the music that was presented, even through the cyphers, was a very... very narrow view of what hip-hop is. Um, and I propose this. Imagine a show that not only... Because hip-hop isn't... It, it isn't that it's not Meg the Stallion, it's that it is Meg the Stallion and other things. Mm -hmm. I would like to see a show with the same performances that we already had, but also performances from people like Little Brother. They had an album this year. Um, also seeing Missy, she dropped an album this year. There's other people that dropped the album this year that aren't specifically the baby or Lil Baby and also not Meg the Stallion. Also, I would like to see performances from let me let me finish. I would also like to see performances from B Boys and B Girls. We do have world competitions for B Boys. I would like to see the current year champion come and do an exhibition. Do you know do a you know no, what, what, what I'm saying is representing hip hop fully. I, oh, I, I think that we could have because look at how long the Grammys are. Let, let I mean the Oscars. The Oscars is a super long you show. You are proposing something of what the idea would be to hip hop or should, should be. Yes. The problem with that is I don't think we show the fullness of 
of the culture that we create. Think about this. There's Especially on... Well, I know BET isn't black called, owned there's anymore. There's a show, there's a, a, a reality TV show, what's it called, those, those hip-hop shows. It's called Hip Hop and Love and Hip Hop, right? Yeah. yeah. How much hip hop do you see in those shows? This is my example. This is what, this is my, <laughs> my, my, I'm leading into something. Okay. The reason why I, I, I'm doing this because it's, it's the netto. They don't think it's gonna make money. Not saying that we, it might. Yes. Not make, they don't think that, so they're not gonna do it. Okay. And there you have it. That's why we're not gonna see it on TV. Because Sorry, sir. Sorry, guys. Hip hop is exactly whatever that strained out hip hop version that they put on TV and hit love hip hop is what you're gonna get for the most part about hip hop. Yes. Uh, they did have Smack from URL on there. Um, okay. And they did they did uh, a battle where the winner won twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. I mean, so if, that, if so they that speaks to you know the rap league, which is cool. You get that part. You get the aspect of the ciphers. The only problem that I had with the ciphers is that many of the ciphers, even though they had three different ones that I believe I know about, there might be a fourth, but three different ciphers. But all of the rappers were essentially kind of similar in in content. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's like, yo, street stuff. Right, we got some stuff here. Got All right, so, so what we got? Oh, what we got from Al Ghost? Right, we, we have I Am Smith in the building. Yeah, right, I Am person. Smith, what up, I think what up? he dipped out, though, but I think he's still there. All right, cool. uh, when you use the word hip-hop, it's very touchy because how long it's been going on. Yeah. I think some... Uh, this is now it's Al saying. I think some of the A-list black artists feel that like they... Uh, they... Like they... T- well, I'm like I'm Rick Ross right now. I, <laughs> well, that's also super small. Yeah, and and, and, had a and, and like I'm trying big. and I'm trying to see it with like with the white in your shirt and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me. No, no, that's fine. You're fine with it. I think some of the A-list artists feel like they. Oh, maybe I'm not wrong. They too good. Too oh too good. Like too old. Oh, he put too old. That's why I'm like they too good. Yeah, yeah. To okay. represent some people need B uh, B T. Uh, Back in the days to get some attention. Nowadays, the YouTube and other platforms are, are are what the artists use. Not as hungry as for the exposure with these award shows. Facts. DJs and beat makers and graffiti artists. With DJs and beat, beat, DJs, is what he's also talking about. Uh, be love talking about that for adding to the hip hop. Okay. okay. Adding the DJ section too. Okay. Yeah, and that, that's what I mean. No like- hip hop artists, R and B artists on love and hip hop don't make sense at all. Exactly. Not exactly, be love. Yeah, we had to read through all that. Sorry, there's like y'all can't see what I see, but like it's literally like uh, us. Yeah. The the picture of us is behind it, so I, all the words are kind of like it's hard to I, read them. I, I had to like read through stuff. So something that uh, so for instance, uh, this year, and I'm I'm gonna name people that are different than kind of what we already got. So we already had like big crit. Yeah, we have big crit. Big crit. Um, Dre- I'll say Dreezy, even though it's kind of in that vein, but it's someone different. Uh, Not Drizzy, but Dreezy. Dreezy. Of course it's a Dreezy. Um, of course it's a Dreezy. <laughs> um, we got, uh, we got like, um, what is it? Uh, Smith & Wesson dropped something. You skipped over a little pump, man. Well, he's, his, I'm me, not, I'm his style is already kind of covered. I'm messing, I'm messing. Um, but uh, I'm trying to pick people that are kind of already, that aren't, weren't sort of represented. Wiz Khalifa dropped the joint. Um, Zarface meets Ghostface dropped joint this year. Um, you got Blue and Ono that dropped a joint. Um, but I'm saying you would never see that one. But what I'm what I'm saying is you could create a show, even even if it's something like the Oscars that goes on multiple nights. They have the one big night, but you could do something where you have like a two night event where you cover breaking graffiti, DJing, and you kind of show the wealth of like, That's, yo, this is because I'm not saying take you know, Nick you know, the you know, out. You know what that sounds I'm not like? saying take Lil Baby you out. I'm saying. Like? Add to it and show the fullness. It sounds like a, cl- a show that's not on TV. It's on. It's on Netflix. It's on YouTube. Forget. Forget. The, yeah. That's my thing about these old platforms called TV. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if you're gonna, it's call, dead. It, but it's what I'm, dead. But here's the thing. Stop the watching reason, it, people. The reason I'm saying it's it is, dead. it's black entertainment television, and it's the hip hop awards. From if anybody's gonna love on us. If anybody's going to adore us, it should be us. You know what I'm saying? Because we're definitely not going to get that from, uh, say, the, it, the, the Oscars or the Grammys or, a, or it, the country mute. Well, you wouldn't get it from country. That's, or the, the AMAs. That's or, a deeper problem. The love on us part. Where is that at? When has that ever been the case? Black love. Yeah, black love. Yeah, we're going to love, it, love, love ourselves. And people, it's the people just talk it, but you yeah. got to live it. Yeah. It's, but I think I think we could have a much better show because the the performances started to 
become very just homogenous where it was like oh, okay cool kind of street stuff street stuff street stuff and then you had the Anderson Pack performance where I was like oh okay because it was finally something different and I think hip hop is so much more than what we show that we could really put on a show you know, you have you have some DJs. You can have the old school Mike, cats come out, and you know, uh, tell a specific I, story. I, I, you had the preaching to the choir. Yes. I'm just I saying, know what you're saying. I just I, think I don't. Can, I, it can be like I, an extravaganza. I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. But, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I just it's think, never going to happen. I just think the BET not, not on TV awards can and not BET. Someone else incredible. has to. It has to be something else. Something and not BET because it's a stain on BET. True, but BET could turn that. No, nope. you know it doesn't have to always be nope. that. You know, no, I mean? no, no, the stain, the stain also turn off a lot of black people to watch BET. Yeah, but you can always you change can't, that. Think you, about, think about this. Um, once what's the, a what's a company that screwed up and came back? I, I mean, there's tons of companies, but it's nothing's coming to mind right now. But no, but the, 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 there's the, the, companies that now, of course, it takes five to ten years to turn it around, but it could be done. You know what I'm saying? It, like, you know, yes, there is a, definitely a stain on BET. We haven't uh, watched... From, from v, actors v, and musicians. V-Love, we haven't watched it yet. Oh, haven't watched what? Wu-Tang series. Oh, no, I haven't watched it yet. I have it on Hulu. I'm waiting until it all finishes. Is it is it done yet, or is it a weekly show? A weekly I think it's show. a weekly show. They dropped two episodes first, and it's a weekly show. Yeah, so I'm trying to wait until it's all over to... Then we'll do the, you know, the finale, whatever. Oh, um, um, um an artist called Lennon... That gangsta Gibbs too. Mad- Mad- yeah, Mad- 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 yeah. Gibbs. gangsta that, Gibbs. That has some percolation. So that would be uh, just, you know, showing what hip hop is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And really, because I, I was watching it and I was just thinking like, yo, this is a, a huge missed opportunity because straight up, and I'm gonna say this. I know y'all might laugh. I have a I have a son. He's almost. He's not even two yet. He'll be two in December. And he's watched it. He watches like a couple of. He watches a lot of dance videos. And don't sleep, all right. My son already has a sweet freeze move, all right. All right. He like rolls on the floor a little bit and then freezes and puts his leg in the air, all right. So imagine the kids whose imagination could be caught by seeing some dope graffiti or or seeing or seeing like a, a b boy crew or b girl crew. You know what I'm saying? Just. And it doesn't have to be like it's like a 30 minute segment, but you can intersparse these things throughout and show, you know, what hip hop is now. And even throw back to like a I Am Hip Hop, like a Legend Award or something like that. You can do tons of cool stuff All these inside things. of maybe a two night event. It sounds great, man. It's very good on he's like, he's like, it sounds good. Go make it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. If you you know what? Do- hey, look, hey, don't yeah. sleep. All right. Hey, NSA, Nurse Awards. N- NSA, hey, NSA, NSA, the Nurse Awards. Hey, look, hey, Forget the, N- the real hey, NSA. Look, you know what? The, hey, this is a new NSA. From this, your lips to, hey, this look. is a new NSA over here. Now, I don't know how many years it's going to take, but the Nurse Soul Awards, don't, hey, you heard it here first. But I just think when That's I was crazy. watching it, I was like, man, there's a real opportunity here to do something awesome. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're missing this opportunity. And they've got the connections. And even though I've heard behind the scenes, there's at least from the actor side, there's a lot of people that are like, I don't deal with BET. But I do think with with time, you know, you can turn people around to coming back. I mean, um, I, I love your you optimism. You would have to optimism. change business practices. I love your optimism for a well, company that doesn't deserve it. Yeah. Sorry. It's just that we've seen it happen. We've seen we've seen ebbs and flows with like Ralph Lauren or Levi's or Nike or whatever. Like remember the stain on Nike when they were like, oh, child labor. And Nike took a dip for a couple of years and they had to build back. Now they still use child labor. But <laughs> what I'm saying is you've seen companies take hits and it takes them like five or so years to get back. And I think BET could get back to being a dope station. Um do I know the? Do I know how to when, do that? When, I don't know. When I was the last the time they were quote unquote a dope station? Um, maybe early two thousands, late nineties. So and I like, know you're talking about twenty. You're gonna say it's twenty years. Twenty years ago, right? Okay. But you can turn it around in the next five to ten. They, you know they, what I'm they had all the time to turn it around. It's time to get rid of them and do and have something else come in this place. Nerd Soul Awards. Actually, you know what? Nerd Soul TV. How about that? Ah, Actually, that, no, not even TV, just Nerd Soul. You don't even yeah. know what it is. It's TV, it's a multi it's a it's, multi-billion yeah, dollar yeah. media corporation. That, you know what? I I like that. 
I, you know what? You heard it. You heard it here first. Bam. Nerd Soul Awards. And we going to make it. Look. Hey. Just yeah. What well, I'm saying is that in order to change it, you have to be the change. Yeah. Cause, cause you could talk. We could sit here talking to a blue in the face about this. What we do to change it? Yeah. But the only way we can really change it is by making it ourselves, creating it. Yeah. And then we have to worry about their awards. It's like now it's our own awards. True, true. And that's what BT was supposed to be. That's what, that's what sound like the idea of BT. Yeah. We're like, oh, you, oh, you, want, oh, you want to have us on your award show? Cool. We'll make our own award show. That's the uh, that's the crux. That's the idea. The the the, the, the genesis of what BT is supposed to be, and it's not that, and it has been that for more than twenty years. So, FBT. I'm on. I'm on, I'm on my ghost face. Yeah, FBT. You know what? I, I guess you said it. I, I'll leave it right there. That's so. Uh, with that said, <laughs> we do have another album, but I did want to talk about corrupt real quick. It, it leads into him. Yes, yeah, a segue. Uh, corrupt had an interview on the DL Hughley show that's on TV One, where he uh, recounted. Making music and then also having to work with Tupac at times and being in the studio at the same time and just talking about his work ethic and Mm -hmm. how he rubbed off on him and, you know, dads and stuff in a good way. Uh, You know, being like, you know, at first, you know, work was like we go to the studio and we chill and smoke and get like one song done and like (laughs) Tupac would get like seven done (laughs) and uh, you know, Tupac would be like, you know, what y'all doing? Like, what are you doing? What have you done today? What have you finished? You know, you wasting time, you wasting money in the studio that you're going to have to pay back when your album comes out. You know, and just uh, that recollection of like how he affected them on a on a personal and on a business level mm-hmm. um, and always kind of looked out for other artists when he, you know, sort of when he didn't really have to. He could have just been like, yo, them dudes is tripping and went in the studio and did his thing. But it's a cool, it's cool, like a small tidbit to be like, oh, okay, that was cool. Because, I mean, you know, we don't know the levels of how he knew them at that time. But, I mean, he didn't have to be like, yo, let me throw them some gems. He could have just been like, hey, look, they doing anything, I'm going to make my music. But he wanted, you know, all the all the ships to rise, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, I just thought that was a dope, you know, like a dope piece of information that corrupt kind of drop that, you know, we don't always get to see, you know what I'm saying? Because I know there's tons of stories from the death row days that probably will never be, you know, recounted. But that's a positive story, I guess you could say. Um, mm-hmm. And I thought that was dope. That that was real cool. <clears throat> so, our second album, Corrupt, The Streets the, is a Mother. The Streets is a Mother. And I'll let you take it away. Is a Mother. A Mother. Mother, um, uh, meaning that the streets can raise you. That's what he means by that. No, um, <laughs> just like your mother. Uh, so yeah, corrupt young Gotti, aka the guy who's rapping on the songs. Yes, yeah. Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg back you know, with Steel Dre and other things. Not Steel Dre, other True. Stuff. Next episode, you know that kind of guy. That guy was also on the Dark Style album. Was he on? Was he on the Chronic album? That's the question. I think he was on the chronic. I think he was on the chronic. Cause at that time everybody was doing music with everybody. It, you, you don't really remember. I think he was on the chronic. But I think he was on the chronic. Yeah. Either way, corrupt young guy. This is his second album. I chose this album because I didn't want to choose the first album. <laughs> because I, the clamor, because there was my, not much clamor around his first album. And I felt the second one had more clamor, meaning more yeah. songs that people knew more than the first album. Um, True. So, um, this album is super long, like <laughs> hour 14, like 75 minutes or something like that. It's, it's ridiculously long. It's like 20,000 tracks. Um, other than that, it's oh, it takes you into another world, like kind of how Bone Thugs and how to... Um, What's his name? What we did last week? Uh, and uh, three six, six kind of how they yeah. took you to the world. This is we went into the corrupt world. Yeah, it's not the same as the, the dog the dog food world. It's not the same nah. as the dog brown world. It's not the same as it's very different the, from the dog, food. dog world. It's not the same as the the chronic world with Dre. This yeah. is this is corrupt world. Yeah. Um, and it's not bad. Um, it's cool. 
Some songs I did like. I, do I actually like, enjoyed I do, a good amount of this. I do like the title track, actually. Streets is a Mother. Yeah, it's actually, definitely. It's actually my favorite Streets is a Mother is a very good song. In terms of, like, structure and song-wise, that was the best song for me. Yeah. Um, the girls I'll all, agree. The Girls All Pause. I forgot about that song. <laughs> um, there's another song on that. Was See, like, I remember that. No, I remember. I didn't know it was on that album. I yeah, thought I it was on something that. else. Yeah, I didn't know what song that was on. I know. I didn't even know who song. Because back then, it was like... Oh, here's Nate Dogg, Snoop, and um, Dre, Dre, yeah. Dre, Snoop, Nate Dogg, and 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 um, and Daz and Corrupt making a song. We didn't ever knew whose songs they yeah, were. Yeah, it was just, it was just. So the girls all pause could have been a Daz song. I like cool. Could have been a Nate Dogg. Could have been a Nate Dogg song. Could have been a Snoop song. I don't know who's like who that was on the song. <laughs> could have been a Snoopy Fly, or Super Fly, whatever song. We don't know whose song could have been. Um, so it was always like that back then, where it's like it was almost like they were like Wu Tang esque in it in a way, where like they were all yeah. on each other's projects and stuff like that. Um, and they always had like that. Th- and this was like I don't know if it, Corruption had the same. But his first album, Corruption, had that same theme of like where it kind of continued on the storylines of Doggy Style and C- Chronic uh, yeah. and Dog Dog Food, like those same W W W K Y W not, balls. W balls. It was still connectivity. It was DJ like, E. It was a, they they created a shared universe within albums. Yeah. We got W balls. Yeah, W balls. So there were some things that like I, I would hear that we were, I would hear on Snoop's album or Dre's album. So that was cool to hear. Like, oh, cool. They can't continue on this thread. And that was cool. I don't know what he did on Corruption, but it, I know he did on Streets of the Mother. So for me, I, it was it's it's a it's a decent album. Yeah. What, what do you think about it? I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I was like, man, it's corrupt. I don't know. Cause this is '99. Uh, I wasn't. I don't know if I was really listening to him at this time. Yeah. And the album ends up surprising me a few times. Okay. One of the big things that surprised me on is the features. The amount of features on there, or just who was featured on there? Who? I mean, the amount is a is a is a thing, but Sorry. also who? Like, because of course we're like corrupt, so we think Dog Pound, we think Snoop. Dre, Daz. Okay. But when you get into like Exhibit, Crooked Eye, KRS One, you're like, what? Okay. Yeah, Daz has more. I'm not. Daz I'm has not really mad. Daz has a weird pull that I, that people might do not expect from him, of artists that respect him. Yeah. He's he has the respect of a lot of artists that were on his albums and everything. It, it's not like for fake fake. Like Corrupt quietly is. A really good artist, like quietly, because he doesn't get the respect. Because again, the umbrella that he came under, yeah, already it's, already has classic people under the umbrella. Yeah, it's it's tough to get the, I guess, the mainstream notoriety when you, I mean, when you kind of like come in with Snoop and Dre. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard to get the mainstream variety, uh, mainstream uh, which uh, like, notoriety notoriety when the first album we hear you from is someone else's album. Yeah, and it and that person is their classic album. Yeah, so you're 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 immortalized. Forever. Doggy style is like, but you, you the first thing we know you for as a featured mm. artist on an, a classic album. Yeah, so it's, it's a little different. So when we do you, you start doing your solo, thing, but I mean like, some dope stuff on that classic album, but still just like no, but it's, it's a it's a slight stain sometimes. Yeah, like if. if if he was good enough, he could have. He should have been his own artist. That's what people yeah. might look at it like that. We're like, ah, it's, he's an underling of Snoop and Dre. Yeah, so he's, he's gonna. He be, Snoop's he's boy. gonna have that protection. Yeah, he's Snoop's boy. We you know, got like, who is Jav Mendez? What up? What up? Ooh, what we up? Get, what we up? getting some randos, man. Yeah, we getting some people. I don't even know who but, he is. What up? What up? Nice to see you. Peace be on to you. Uh, I this album like has some great beats too. I mean, there's also some beats where I'm like, nah. Eh. But there's also somewhere I'm like, oh, this got a groove to it. And it just, it's so different from dog food. Yeah. It's so different that it threw me. In a, in a good way for me. You were you expecting dog food? Well, I was expecting dog food-ish type music. Why? Well, because I knew that with Corrupt, Daz was still going to be somewhere around. Um, and I figured that would kind of like lead into this album sort of. But it's definitely a different feel. Um, also, we were talking offline. I did not know that the DMX thing was so deep. And I was trying to remember back to that time when I was listening to it. But I was just like, I don't remember 
them going after each other like this. But Corrupt was not happy with DMX in this album. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. V Love is back in the building. V Love, what up, what up, V Love in the place to be. Um, because you had, what is it? You had the skit where they were going through the radio. And then he mentioned them, he mentioned them in like two or three songs. I want to say two songs. I think it was two songs, and then the, of course the one where he's like calling out names, and I was like, "Wow, that's he was that was not a subliminal diss. That was just straight up. Yeah, like you was just straight up like, I don't like this person. I don't like that person. The end. And then when you told me that Get At Me Dog was about you know, or at least part of it was about Wait, Get uh, At Me Dog. I said I didn't say yeah. Get At Me Dog. That from Get At, get at Me Dog. That letter? yeah. Um, no, no, that's uh, that's from um, whatever DMX song that's from. I can't remember. Yeah, that's not from You're that whack, song. you're twisted, your girls are. Yeah, that's from my bam, 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 and party up. Oh, Woo, okay. y'all gonna make me lose my mind from that song. Yep. Mm. Up, up in here, here up, up in here. here. Yeah, it's from that song. I was like, wait, mm. what? Y'all gonna that? make me lose my cool. Because Gatman was like 98, 97, yeah, 97, yeah. 97, 98. So, like, yeah, that wasn't a bit. So, that. That's been a little. I, didn't, I just didn't know. That it was that deep. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think DMX really like said corrupt crap, I got a problem with you. He just said that one line that people assumed that that's what he was talking about. Uh, and I think I don't think that's the only thing you heard from DMX actually about it. Right. I mean he can say a bunch of stuff, it'd probably be subliminals, and I don't really pay attention to subliminals because I think it's stupid. Yeah. Well let me hide my rhymes in here so you gotta yeah. figure out the code. Well I would need to decode a ring if you I'm gonna figure out the code, okay? Stupid. Oh, oh but don't say their names though. That's corny. That's the corny thing in hip hop is that I feel. Yeah, it, if you got beef for someone, just say it. Say the they name. They gonna kill you. Say the name. Just be like, yo, I don't like this person. I don't like that. Oh, person. Oh, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to put no energy into their name. Nah, All bro. Right. Nah, bro. Well, I ain't gonna put no energy into guessing who you are talking about. How about that? Yeah. How about that? Keep that energy to yourself. Thank you. <laughs> so, what's your score? Because you can score this song. Because I, I scored the first one. I like this more than I like Exhibit. Um, I'm gonna put this at a solid seven. You know, that's my solid score. seven, man. That's my score too. I had a I, there were a couple of times when I was listening to this album where I was like, huh, not bad. There were some jams on here, a couple grooves too. Yeah. Now, of course, it was long. If you have 20 songs, I guess you gotta get 10 of them right. I guess. Oh man. Nah, I mess with him. That's a cold. That's a cold brother right there. Um, but I did end up having a deeper appreciation for corrupt in his work after this. Cause you never listened to corrupt album ever before. No, not a full album. No. Same. So I was like, you know what? This is better than I expected it to be. Is it better than dog food? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Well, yeah. I, I I enjoyed this more than I enjoyed dog food. We reviewed dog food. I forgot what you yeah. about dog food. So yeah, I definitely I enjoyed this more than dog food. Okay. Well, that's good. Easy. That's great. Yeah, that de- definitely. Yeah. That's great. You know what it is? It's really good, man. So how about how about you? Nah, but me what? How oh. how you feel how you feeling about this and dog food? Between these it's two. Not in the same universe. No. Sorry. This is not even dog the same food universe. Is, is a is a failure of an attempt. Dog food is just it's not. Got, it's okay, kinda. Like, dog food just—I don't know if it was too late or too little, and too late. Yeah, it. it, it, it there was just something missing from it. Like it, maybe the energy had died, or maybe the whole surrounding of death row at that time wasn't good. It, it was could just, be a handful of all those things. Cause yeah, that's the dog, dog food was ninety six, right? Yeah. Again, 96, weird year. Yeah, it just wasn't... Weird year. No, sorry, yeah. 95 was not... It was oh, it was 95? All right. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just weird. October. It just didn't... It didn't... It just didn't fit for me in what I guess I was expecting. I think it was a death row. And it said, it it said Dre executive produced, but he, he didn't even produce on anything, I don't think. 
Hey, Jay, executive produced that. Executive just means you could put up money for it, not say that so you, it doesn't mean you actually were there. Because Dre yeah. did not, did, did he did one beat? Maybe, I think he nah, did one. No, he did one, one, he produced, co-produced with, with Dazzle, one beat. Uh, the Let's, Let's Play House song. Oh, yeah. That's it. It, Corrupt, I gotta give it to him. I, I ended up liking more than I didn't like on this album. And the, the lyrics were pretty sharp. And his features were just interesting. Yeah, exhibits on here for uh, three times. The the KRS one went joint went on too long for me, but it was still nice to have them together. Like, oh, yeah, well, that song, that song was weird. But it was interesting it to was, have them together. It was like, weird. Like, at least they tried. There's some like something. East Coast sounding beats on this album too. It's just super weird too. Yeah, well, I mean, he's from the East Coast, so you know. But he was raised out here. Yeah, but I'm just saying he still has that slight connection because. I, I'm I'm assuming this now. Of course, you're gonna say it as you mean, but he's from the East Coast. So sooner or later, he probably travels back, visits his family, or something like that. So he does have that part of his life that feels that kind of like East Coast flavor and the West Coast flavor. And I think this album kind of displays that at times. It displays an East Coast and a West Coast kind of vibe to it at times. Um. So yeah, not bad, not bad though. Not not bad. I don't mind the album. Um, I like it better than the exhibit joint that we covered. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with that one. Okay. Yeah. That's where I'm at. All right. So that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. We love you guys. Love you, Gord. Love you, Gord. Jesus Christ. I'm super tired. This is killing me. Love you, Gord. Jesus Christ. Nerd Soul Awards uh, 2020. Um, I don't know. Coming soon. soon to a theater near you. Yeah, you just gonna you gonna see. It. Coming soon to a tube near you. Yeah, it could be YouTube, could be a TV tube, could, could be, be a, all the tubes, sorry, could all be right. different kind of vacuum tube. All of them. you gonna see. It. Yeah, but uh, I guess I guess you can go first since you know we're we're on Instagram. This is this is your home. Oh, you don't want to overstep again like you did last time. <laughs> You don't want you want to post in the chat your, your IG and every your, all your Instagrams and your and your links and your websites and everything. Didn't want to do that this time. Hmm. Shocker. <laughs> ah, jokes and jokes and jokes and jokes. I'm not even gonna respond to that. Actually, I got you. Yeah, I gotta go to you. So to my right, I have the interview extraordinaire, the the Comic Cons. Of all the cons, extraordinary uh, gentleman of ex- extraordinary uh, legal extraordinary gentleman person of persuasion. He's the that's his power. Um, he's the hardest worker man in showbiz um, since James Brown. Yes, he's everywhere around your town. Yes, he's got the Comic Con this weekend. Yes, L.A. Comic Con and the L.A. Convention Center. Yes, downtown ish. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking downtown, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm new out here. I'm, right off right off the Pico exit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know where Pico is. I don't know who Pico is. Oh please. Pico mean what? Do I mean like pepper? Oh. Is that picante? Oh. Maybe it's picante. N E R D S O U L. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, holla at your boy. TikTok. I Heart Radio Podcast, Spotify. Isn't there a song called TikTok? I mean, um, maybe. But hey, I'm here. You want to talk comics? Want to talk music? Want to talk movies? Holla at your boy. Um, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. Peace. Mm-hmm.